Hey guys, it's Cindy A. Lewis, and in this video, we're going to find out what I do with these three frames from the Dollar Tree. So let's get started. Okay, so first we're going to take three frames into the Dollar Tree and create three gifts or items that you can use for your desk in your office or in your kitchen or wherever you need something to help you remember things. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these three, they're acrylic frames, they're eight by 10, and they're the kind that stand on their own. And I'll show you real quick, like this. And you, you have this um, ability to slip your um, picture in here. But what we're going to do is use those three frames and some foam that you can buy. These sheets you can buy at the Dollar Tree or you can buy them um, at Walmart or Hobby Lobby or Michaels or wherever and you may already even have some. So we're going to need three of these sheets. We're gonna use three sheets, more than three sheets. We're gonna use three sheets for one of them and then we're gonna use two. So I have one extra sheet then um, we're going to need some tacks, which are from the Dollar Tree. You may already have some. We're going to need one clip. These are from the Dollar Tree as well. It has a magnet on the back, but we're going to be using E6000 glue to glue it, which is the best when it's a non-porous surface. You can use a hot glue gun or another type of glue if it works for you, but I'm going to use the E6000 for that. Also, um, I'm going to decorate my tacks with some jewels that I have in my handy dandy container here. <laughs> so you can see them better that way. And then I may or may not use some flowers from the Dollar Tree. I'm leaning towards doing it just because they're so pretty. And then we will need some chalk paint. This is not from the Dollar Tree, however, but you don't have to use what I use. You can use whatever you like. And then I'm going to use some of this basic double-sided tape because it's really strong and it is a wide width. It's about a half an inch. Oh no, it's an inch. And I'm going to use that to um, connect my foam. But you could use any other kind of glue that you would like to use as well. So let's get started. Let me show you what we're going to do. Okay, so for the first one, we are going to make it a chalkboard. I've removed all the paper and the tags. And I'm going to take my chalk paint and I'm going to paint the board. Now, one thing with the painting... Um, I've got, I'm going to do this one first so that it can dry while I'm waiting on the, while I'm working on the other ones. So I'm going to go ahead and paint that with a foam brush that I have. If you do not have a foam brush, they do have those at the Dollar Tree. Just real quickly, you'll notice that I painted all in one direction. The first time now the next thing is I'm going to paint all in one direction this way I want to make sure that I get a good coverage on my my uh, surface with the chalk paint so if you feel like that that's not a good enough surface coverage then you can go back and uh, redo it another uh, another layer of paint Okay, for frame number two, we're going to make this the clipboard. And so we've set the frame aside. I've taken the paper out, I've taken the tags off, I've got my foam sheet here. I'm going to use the photo that was inside the frame as my pattern. And I'm going to cut out to make sure it is the right size. I'm going to do that real quickly. Okay, now I have cut and slipped my foam sheet inside my frame. Now the foam sheet is a little thicker than a, a photograph, so you wanna make sure that you get it in there nice and snug, and that looks really nice. 
And so the next thing that I'm going to do is take my clip and I'm gonna glue it down at the top here like this. And I'm gonna glue it down with the E6000 glue because it will definitely hold it really well. So I'm gonna do that real quick. So I've got my glue on here and I want it to be right at, at the four inch mark. So I've got it right there. And I'm gonna hold it here to make sure that it sticks. If you have any of the glue seep out, then you can wipe that off. I have a little bit. Now it takes a little while for E6000 to actually dry. So you want to give it like overnight or even up to 24 hours depending on how moist your air is. And this is going to be our clipboard. And then you can decorate this however you would like. I'm not going to put anything on here right now, but um, I feel like the foam board, um, the foam sheet behind there is actually a lot of decoration. Okay, for this frame, which I've removed the paper and the um, photo paper out of there and the tag, you need three sheets of foam and we're going to make a tack board for this one. So I'm going to take three sheets of foam, I'm putting the black in the middle and the decorative on the front and the back so that you can see it since it's clear. And we're going to adhere them together and then adhere them onto our frame. Now I would like to give um, thanks to coupon to provide for such great ideas. She had created this some time back um, on her channel, probably two or three years ago. And it was similar, not quite exactly the same, but very similar. And so I wanted to recreate it in my own style and I will link her channel below in case you're interested. Okay, the, like I told you, I'm going to cut these out to fit this eight by 10. And then I'm going to adhere them together with some double-sided tape that will hold them together. And it won't be bumpy as um, your glue gun might be bumpy. Okay, now the last step is going to be to adhere your foam boards to your frame. And again, I'm gonna do it the same way with the double stick tape. I like the way that it holds and I like the way that it um, secures the foam sheet to the frame. So I'm going to put, I think, I'm going to put six instead of five on this one just to make sure that we have a good hold for the tacks. So we'll do that. And then we will adhere it to the frame. And then we will make our tacks pretty. Okay, so we're adhering the foam to the frame and there you go. And so there you have it. Oh, it's so cute. Let me hold, turn up the camera a little bit. Here we go. It is really, really cute. So I'm going to set that aside for a moment while we take care of our tacks. 
and make them pretty. Okay, so I've picked out some of the jewels that I liked and I'm just going to glue them with a little hot glue to the back of my tack or the top of my tack. It is holding really nicely and just to show you, you can put your tacks in this foam. It doesn't go all the way through, but that's okay. You don't really, I mean, unless you were planning on holding some really heavy duty items, you can just stick it on there. Now, if you really do want it to hold a lot um, more, you can add more foam sheets to your uh, design. Now, another thing too, you don't have to do this design. You can do any design that you want to. That's the good thing about it. You can make it anything that you want it to be. So here are all my tags, and I do have this beautiful flower, and it would add so much to it, but I don't wanna glue it to it. So it's on a clip, and this is from the Dollar Tree. So I'm just gonna clip it on, if it'll let me. Let's see. Yeah, it may stay. So I've got that flower and then I've got my tacks and I can put a cute little note here and then you can just tack your note right there and it's ready to go. So here is one and one is done already, which is very cool. So I will show you the other two. Okay, so we're back. This clasp has now dried for the clipboard and I put a little note on here so you could see. And then I want to show you one little added thing I want to put on the back here. Okay, so I made a, a, um, a little strip here that I'm gonna, it's like a little band that you can slide a pin or clips on on the back so that you have access. And it's kind of hard to see since I made it the same color. But the way that I did it was I just cut an extra piece that I had left over and I put two pieces of the double stick tape so I'm just gonna stick that on and show you what it looks like after it's on. Of course, this is on the back and you don't have to have it, but I think it adds a little extra. All right, so we're gonna put that on here. I'm putting about, oh, I don't know, about a third of the way. And remember, this sticks really well. So now we have a band and we can put a, a pin in here like that. And we can take a clip and we can put that in here or whatever else we want. And then here we are. So there's that one. That one's finished. Remember we finished this one yesterday and we had to let the chalkboard dry. So here now we have the chalkboard, it's all dry. So I did the same thing that I'm doing on the back. I made a band to hold my chalk. It's like a little ledge. And I put the double stick tape on the back and I'm going to adhere it here at the bottom of the chalkboard. So the chalk paint dries really well and you just have to let it set. So let it set overnight. And then we're going to put this ledge. I'm assuming that's what it's called. Anyway, double stick tape on the back here. And we're just going to put it at the bottom. And I'm lining it up because I only get one shot at this. Here we go. Now the way that I made the ledge is I just took some extra and then I've got one, two, three, four pieces that I glued down here to make a ledge so it all goes together. And you can see here that your chalk will rest right, oh, you're out of frame. Your chalk will rest right on it. 
very nice so there was one other thing I wanted to add and I have these pretty little flowers since we used flowers on the um, push pin board then I'm going to add a few of these little light colored flowers on here they do stick on themselves these are from the paper studio <clears throat> I've had them a really long time and they're uh, already have their stickers so they already have ad um, adhesive on the back so I'm going to put those on and show you what it looks like okay so the office memo board DIYs are completed these are all with photo frames from the Dollar Tree we've got our chalkboard here with a little ledge created by the extra foam sheets and the little accent here then on the push pin board we have the push pins, the foam sheets with a little flower from the Dollar Tree. And then on this one, we have our uh, clip for our papers. And then on the back, created this little band to hold a pen or um, paper clip or whatever you need it to hold. And so there you have it, all three created really inexpensively with Dollar Tree frames. I want to thank you for watching and I hope that you will comment, share, and subscribe. And I hope that you would make some of these. I'd love to see pictures of them. Uh, if you tag me on Instagram, I'll share your tag in my uh, Insta story. So my Instagram ID is Cindy underscore A underscore Lewis. And I hope I will see you again next time. Thanks for watching.